Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a collection video, because I haven't done one in a very long time. So, this is going to be most of everything, and you'll be able to see all the changes that have happened. So the first thing I'll show here is the General Electric M250R from 1964. It's 175 watt mercury vapor. And I'm not going to get any particular order, I'm just kind of showing things as they are. I have this Michigan style case sign that's a four way. I've got a bunch of stuff inside of it right now, like fans and whatnot. Over here is an Econolite button back, three section. Some fan blades down there. A visor from a token. Then here is a cross times type R. Five section. Then next to it is a Eagle Dura Sig nine inch pedestrian signal hand and man indications. Though I have the don't walk and walk indications, I just don't have them installed right now. Next to it is a GE Forum 101 head with a Jocelyn branded gumball lens. And I got that with the M250. It was a stop sign back there. And then over here are my two old signals. The left is a Eagle Lux from the early 40s. And then the right is a Kraus Heinz Type DT from the early or the late 50s. And over here we have a lightning rod. And then some insulator collected, collection there. Down here is my Revere Cat Eye. An empty Kraus Heinz section, some more insulator collection, my Westinghouse multi-piece bucket, the right turn box for my Jurassic is right here, my wonderful OV50 and its door. Behind it is a cop glass arrow lens and a light here with a GE reflector bulb. Next is a Winkomatic LFE style signal. And then the Dura signal is the right turn signal. The visor is off right now so I can fit it. And then down here is my American Electric 327 or Thomas and Betts. And then over here box for a Casablanca Delta II, a visor, the 3M is missing, here's a Lime Materials bucket light, another Lime Materials bucket light down there, it's a lens and some bulbs, a Jocelyn gumball, and then back there is a traffic light and a GE power groove. So that's everything in here, then next if we go into the closet. We have a little bit of a mess. We have a GE Form 46 here on its ornate arm. A Westinghouse OV15. American Electric ATBS. An American Electric 325. A 115. A 115 that I got new in the box. With this one has a homemade shield. Over here we have a Cooper Lighting OVX in 400 watt mercury vapor. It's the newer version from 2007. A General Electric M400. And a Lime Material Spanware Nemo with the original glass lens. So I'm going to move the doors to the other side so we can see what else is here. Here we have a, a rude floodlight, or a wall pack I mean, and then the Steber. Staber, whatever you want to call it, floodlight. A couple of bulbs here. Under here is some fluorescents. And then back here, we have a lens. Some other odds and ends. There's my Hunter Original. And that, uh, right there, that radio wave there. And then up top is my light bulb collection. I already have a video on this. So I'm not going to go into detail. And then... This, again here, is a Econolite Bullseye and Short Groove 12883 way cluster. 
that I got from another collector, and then after that I have some fans and other miscellaneous things, but that's pretty much it for my lighting collection. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.